Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome to the Makeup Mummy family. And guys, if you are new to my channel, it'd be awesome if you can hit that subscribe button and join me here at Makeup Mummy. And if you do, remember and hit that bell as it'll notify you every time I upload, which is Fridays and Sundays. So guys, we have a very bold look today. I am using the TZ Cosmetics palette. This is the Twilight Eyeshadow palette. Um, Pros and cons to this palette, guys, and this is not my best work, to say the least. You know, I struggled to get it here. But if you want to know how that went and what I thought about it, then just keep on watching. Okay, guys, starting with a palette and a fluffy brush from MSQ, we're going in with, that's right, that red. We're going to use this as the transition shade. So taking that fluffy brush, we just want to apply that from the outer corner, working our way in, back and forward in circular motions. I did find on applying this eyeshadow, it was quite patchy, guys, but it's bright. It's the same thing with the other eye, same sort of motions. And going back in there again, guys, just to give it a wee bit more like depth and brightness, because like I said, it was quite patchy. Wow. So I'm starting to look a little bit like Pennywise from it. So taking my blending brush, I'm just going over those edges just to diffuse the colour a little. I don't want to go over the top at the moment. Taking it up into the brow bone also as far as you can go. And stop there. Okay guys, now I think we'll take that black from the centre there and on a flat synthetic brush. We're just going to start almost carving the lid out with the black, just sort of giving the eyelid its shape first. Same on the other eye. Start filling in the inner corners first. And I'm switching up brushes to my Eco Tool smudge brush and we're just packing on that black. Just all over the lid, guys. Just pack it on. A bit of fallout happening right here. I did find a lot of these shadows did have a lot of fallout, um, so I would suggest do your eyes before your foundation, that way you could just clean it up with a makeup wipe. Okay guys, taking my blending brush, I'm just going to blend those two together Together, just to basically make sure everything's diffusing and blending well together. I did find as blending this the block seemed to disappear on me it just seemed to I don't know I don't know where it went it just disappeared. So taking my Eco Tools brush again, I'm going back in and packing more black onto the lid. Another way of getting past this, guys, is putting black gel liner all over the lid and then going in with your eyeshadow. That'll just give you the depth and the darkness that you want. Back in with the blending brush and again, just making sure those two are working together. Okay. So now we're taking a fluffy brush, a small one, and we're going to go in with that matte blue. Now I'm just sticking to the outer corners with this guys. I'm not bringing it into the center or taking it through the crease. Just sticking to the outer corner simply for, I just felt I wanted a little bit of color and I just wanted if I turned my eye, you would get a glimpse of that blue. blending brush and we're just going to blend those together. Again, I did find I lost some of the blue as I was blending. Lots of fallout guys. So going back in with that blue, I just wanted a little bit more because as I said, it kind of blended away to nothing. And then just using the tip of my blending brush, just gently. Okay. Then we're going back in there and packing some more black on. And just again ensuring everything is blending together.
Don't be scared to take as much time as you need to blend. I was actually using the blending brush here with a little bit of black on it just to sort of blend that black in. Okay, taking a small pencil brush from Morphe, I am just going in there with a little bit of that red colour just over the top of the black just to sort of make it a little bit more vivid. Circular motions with it to try and blend as you go in. And going in with the fluffy brush from the start that already has that red on it, just taking over the two colours. And a smaller fluffy brush just again to get in there in the corners just to make sure everything is working well. So I'm taking this blue shimmer which I have to say is absolutely stunning, so pigmented and I'm taking it on the middle of the eye first. How beautiful is that? Sort of just working it over the lid a little from the inner corner, you know, sticking to the middle sort of area. And then what I wanted to do is just add a little bit more using that packing brush. But again, I felt as I was putting it on, it was just wiping it away. Blending brush, just to make sure again, everything is working well together. Not bad, not bad. So I'm going to wipe this away. Okay, so now we have some concealer on, we're going to go back in again with a small rounded brush and we're going to take that red and we're going to place it right under the waterline guys. I want to take this quite far down because we are going to add some black closer to the waterline. Wow, <laughs> that is bright. Lots of fallout happening, oh sorry I keep putting that palette right in front of you. I just wanted a closer look doing this bottom lash line. Like I said, bringing it quite far down. Sorry guys, you're missing half of my face there. See, I do realise I am doing it. <laughs> so see how bright that really is. So I'm taking just a fluffy brush and just sort of, you know, blending that out, just dispersing it a little. Just so the line's not so harsh. Now I've got an even smaller, smaller detailed brush from Morphe and we're going right next to the waterline, as close as you can get and we're applying that black right there, taking it right into the inner corner, same on the other eye guys. Just back in there just to deepen it a little bit more. And then a really big fluffy brush, we're just going to blend those two together to make sure that they're working well together. So that you've not just got a line of black and a line of pink. You want everything to blend in and look cohesive. Again, just blend, 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 guys. And that's you. Okay, guys, so that is the finished look. Been a bit of a bumpy road to get here, but we're here. Very, very vibrant, very, very bold and out there. Um... <laughs> Well, let me talk about this palette. Um, I keep saying M. Um, that's the thing, isn't it? M, um, M. Um. <laughs> the palette is absolutely beautiful to look at. You know, the packaging is amazing. I absolutely love it. The colours are very vibrant, very, very soft and, again, easy to apply. Uh, a bit of fallout, quite a bit of fallout, especially like on the face. I found even after I was finished applying, I was starting to blend, it was still coming and I was finding bits just... Oh my, it was everywhere, absolutely everywhere. The shimmer is absolutely beautiful. I've got a bit of blue in the corner there. This is just not my best work, guys. I've tried to pull it together the best I could. It's just, in my opinion, looking absolute garbage, but that's the whole point of trying to pile it out. Um, the shimmers are really nice when you apply them with your finger, but the minute you try and blend them in, they just sort of blend away, in my opinion, anyway. The, the black... Again, if you were going for a look similar to this, I would definitely say, like I did with my blue um, smoky eye, I would definitely use a gel eyeliner underneath, like a black gel eyeliner, and then apply your black eyeshadow and blend it out that way. It just really ensures that everything is solidly black. Because going this way, I found that when I was applying the black and then I was blending, it was just 
again disappearing and I had to go back in there and put some more black in. That's why I thought I'd put a shimmer on top to try and help it. It is a beautiful palette. The colours are beautiful. They are vibrant and pigmented. I just find that sometimes it blends away. So you're having to work harder to get them to work. Um, again, it's not my best work, this look at all. I'll openly admit that. But I think considering the shadows do have a lot of fallout and they do blend away sometimes to nothing. I think I've managed to pull some sort of look together anyway. Um, I'm not entirely happy with it myself, but we've got it. This was $8.99. I think it's now $9.99 on Amazon. I do think it's a really nice palette and I think it's something that's worth having in your collection. I just find you have to work a little bit harder with it and I definitely would say don't do what I did and put the foundation on first, especially with this palette um, because you will find that there's tons of fallout and even after trying to rectify things, it'll still, it's just a hot mess guys, a hot mess. Um, but if you're going in there before foundation, you it's easily wiped away and just then you work from there. Um, they do blend out nice. I mean, they blend together lovely. I just find that sometimes they blend away. So you're having to really pack on that colour to get it to stick. Um, but other than that, do I think it's worth you spending that $8.99 or $9.99? Yeah, why not? I mean, this palette is pigmented. They do look lovely on the eye. They do blend together nicely. The only downside to this palette is it does have a lot of fallout when you're applying. There is a bit of kickback on the shadows. Um, and I do find that some of the colours do blend away when you're blending. So that is the pros and cons of this. Beautiful palette. Sturdy little mirror. The, sh the shadows are pigmented. They're soft. Creamy. But the downsides are a lot of fallout bit of kickback and some of the eyeshadows do blend away. Like the black blends away, which I was quite surprised with because it is quite a pigmented black, but it just seemed to blend away when I was like playing with other colours. The shimmers are the same. You apply the shimmers and they look absolutely beautiful with the finger, but the minute you try and just blend, it moves the shimmer and it just seems to blend away to nothing. Um, but other than that, that's my thoughts. There are pros and cons to this palette. The colours are beautiful, like I said. I'm not going to go too much into detail because we've already went over this. Um, so it's entirely up to you guys what you think of this palette. For me, I will use it again, maybe in a different way, maybe just as an accent palette. Um, because I do find that there are no real transition shades in here for you doing a proper look. So you definitely would need another palette if you're going for a softer look. But yeah, I'm I like the colours that we've got today. I like the goal that we were going for. I just found there was just so much fallout. There was It was just blending away that it's made the look garbage. But there we are. It's all trial and error, guys. It's all practice makes perfect. You know, there are going to be mistakes made in makeup. There's going to be days where makeup looks absolutely garbage. But, you know, it's all about playing about. It's all about trying it. There's no point sitting there stressed out like I was earlier you know I was getting really stressed out filming this just thinking why is this not working you know my blue smoky eye looked amazing and I was kind of going for the same vibe and I just felt it wasn't working but anyway I'm leaving it at that so guys if you have liked this hot mess of a video again then give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already guys it would be completely awesome if you could do I mean I'm super amazed at how far we've come so far and I just hope we can continue on with that. Like I said, this channel is all about growing. This channel is all about learning. You know, we're going to learn together. So yeah, please subscribe if you can. And guys, until the next video, wherever you are in the world, have a good one day or night. Remember and stay safe and we shall see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.